Some say that his favorite all-time tune is Forever Autumn by Justin Hayward, and that he has the world's largest collection of pornographical material. All we know is he's not the Stig, but he is the Stig's lorry-driving cousin. Look, he's got a lorry driver's son. Oh, sunburn, I see, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> he's really as big as American Stig. Rick Stig. Yeah. 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 Rick Stig climbed into his tuned man and set off. Look at that! That's just fantastic! James, what do you reckon? You can do that? Piece of cake. Gingerly, we hit the skid pan. Yeah, now, you see this strip I've put here, I can't really see where I'm going. Take the outside line, second gear, high range. Now, power sliding, it's easy in a car. Turn in, no power on. No, that, that's not gone as well as I'd hoped. Here we go, slide! Come on, you're a racing truck. This is what you should be good at. Oh, my bonnet! Driven out of my own bonnet. Left foot braking, there's the answer. That didn't work, so I gave it more welly. And that really didn't work. No! No! Ah! Do some of that. Doesn't work. Meanwhile, in the Renault. Come on! Spin! Oh, yes. oh, ow! It's this lorry driving, it turns out, is quite a lot harder than I thought. Have you untouched your leg as well? Yeah, the gear lever's gone up my ass. Right, okay. Now, we all know the problems faced every day by the elderly. At home watching television, something comes on they don't want to see, they want to change channel, can't reach, so they have to build up enough momentum in their rocking chair <laughs> until eventually they can reach forwards and get it. And, uh, and that's hard if you've got arthritis. <laughs> However, you can now wave goodbye to the misery of being forced to watch Adrian Childs. <laughs> because I've connected this chair to a 6.2-litre V8 <laughs> engine. It's actually the same Corvette engine that we used a couple of weeks ago to power the, uh, the food blender. Actually, didn't you say you were going to use it to power a Stan Astaire? Yes, I did. Sadly, the test went wrong. Used an old lady and her spine, it came out of the top of her head. It was... <laughs> anyway, look, let's not dwell on who killed who, because it's time now to test this one. Yes, I think we'll use a dummy this time. Yes, I'll... good idea with a dummy. Now, I should explain, OK? Normally, the accelerator for the engine would be on the chair itself, so the elderly person could simply push it there. But because we're using a dummy, I have the accelerator here. Now, the idea, we start up the engine, the chair begins to rock, and the, the old lady can effortlessly make Adrian Childs go away. <laughs> so, are we ready to try that out? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Because the noise is so great, you'd never hear television, would you? Yeah. <laughs> there is that, and the fact that the old lady has disintegrated. Have you turned the traction control yes. off? Yes. Have you ever done that in your life? No. I think it's very game right, to join in. I've got to do lots of revs. Steering wheel straight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cock. 
You are such an imbecile. What do you call that? I overcorrected. How well does that bode for Bonneville? You can't drive in a straight line. <laughs> Traction control. On. When we come with the car, how to trace the back end to touching all these cones to find the perfect slide. OK, this is how we get the back end around. Then it was my turn. Little left, little oh. right, on the gas, get the back end loose. That's not enough, is it? <laughs> Again, action! Better than first run. And then, finally... You did it! You did it! That's the finish way. After we demolished all his cones, I took Mika out on the proper course, which he found relaxing. So now second, third in, a bit of a flick. That wasn't bad. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot which way to go there. OK, third. Now, as we know, practice makes perfect. So uh, I'm going to get some practice now before the course opens in the Bago. What? I know it's you. <laughs> what We're up to doing? 40 miles an hour in the Bago. It's Chase. Come on. I was asleep. Where's May? We're packing in. I'm on the throne. <laughs> Clarkson, <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Clarkson, you infantile pillock. <laughs> You're tidying that up. <laughs> There's a look at your past cars that you've had. Yes. The SL, Mercedes, yes. V8, Maserati Coupe, V8. Yeah. Ferrari 355, yeah. V8, yeah. TVR Cerbera, V8. I tell you, look, the V8 thing, food blender, yeah? Oh, my V8 food blender? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which was, frankly, an out and out failure. <laughs> of, of... The blades need a bit of work, but it's already been converted, as we speak, into a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> oh, so. uh, no, I think what you should do is combine the two great male obsessions and get a V8 to, to power a power shower. Power shower? No, no, m yeah. male obsession oh. is internet pornography, surely, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know how you can have a V8-powered internet porn connection. Maybe you could. Maybe you could, and maybe that would actually deliver everything that anybody's ever dreamed of. Are you ready? Here. OK. Go. <laughs> Two revving V8s and the alarms went berserk. Run away! Run away! Go, go, go! Don't screech your wheels! <laughs> Oh, well, that helps, Jeremy, that helped. You won't change unless you change that. Yeah, it won't change unless you change that. Now you're here again. Where are your knees from? Australia? James wasn't really enjoying his company. But then neither was Jeremy. I didn't know you were the police. Police. Real police. Well, you okay. I just... I'm police. <clears throat> I just saw... The the tyres and the rev of the engine. Oh, no, sorry, my foot slipped off the clutch. No, that's... It, no, I don't buy that for a second. OK, okay? sorry. Oh, dear. It's not a big motorcycle, just a groovy little motorbike. It's more fun than a barrel of monkeys that two wheel buy. OK, if you've just tuned in to Britain's favourite car show, <laughs> what's happened is... <laughs> Richard and I have driven into a cave looking for a bar that isn't here, and we have no reverse gear. Still, could be worse. God, that was going so well. My traditional Vietnamese fishing knots have come undone, and my centuries-old fiberglass outrigger has drifted away. This is going to work. After a 1,000-point turn, yeah. Jeremy and I were out of the cave. I wasn't worried, I wasn't scared. And with only a few hours of daylight left, we really couldn't afford any more problems. Ah! Water has got into the electrical system, and the 60,000 volts is coursing through everything that's metal, including the frame on the boat, the frame of the bike. Our bike skis were in a bad way. Come on! But then... Life! There's life! It's a bar! The 
It's an umbrella. It's a bar. Yes! The little speck over there is Hammond and saw of it. Hammond! Hammond! It's there! Sadly, there wasn't much I could do with this information. Because my steering was broken. All I can do is go in circles. And so it seemed the non-biker would get there first. Come on! Yes! And that is how we do that. The question now was, would all of us make it before the eight-day deadline expired at sundown? Well, I can't do anything because I haven't got reverse. Eventually, blind luck brought Hammond close to the pontoon, where I was sadly too busy to help him more. Just that bit of rope there, look, that black rope is long enough. Swim. No. Come on. Come on. Another foot. Put your back into it. With the swan lined up, I gave the engine a burst. Yes! Using nothing but currents and the wind, Richard Hammond's idiotic lids appears to have made it. Have a beer. <laughs> <laughs>